As the trial of child the farmer's allegations levied against Dr. Olufemi Olaleye, the medical director of Optima Cancer Care Foundation began on Monday 19, December 2022. The defense-led counsel, Babatunde Ogala San, in a cross-examination took note of the account of the false prosecution witness and got the second witness disqualified having broken the rule of the courts. The court had posited before the trial that all witnesses in the matter should vacate the court earlier on the premise of this infraction the supposed witness was disallowed. The false prosecution witness, Mrs. Olaleye, an economist, entrepreneur in new, in real estate and marshalers has been married to the defendant for 11 years. In a evidence account on Monday at the commencement of trial of the embattled daughter, the mother of two on behalf of the victim named Woodard, narrated to the trial judge, Justice Raman Oshodi, of the special and sexual offenses court that the girl confessed to a relative and their driver that the daughter has been sleeping with her and threatened to kill her and the witness if she tells anyone. The witness said the, she reported the matter to the police and investigations were carried out on the defendant and the victim to arrival the truth. Adding that the matter was referred to gender section of the legal state police command, she said police inspector Esther told her that the victim was not lying about the incident. She claimed that her own child also told her that she had seen her husband undress the minor sometimes. She, however, noted that her husband checked himself into a rehabilitation home, Grace Carte Clinics in Ilupechi, Lagos. She also hinted that Dr. Ogunobi sent her a message that he is not going to be a part of Dauphine. She also said that if her husband did not complete a treatment for sex addiction, that he will relapse and that if he is allowed to roam the streets, that that is dangerous. She denied beating the victim into confessing to her aunt at the aunt's house and also called a meeting where his mother was present. During the cross-examination of the witness, Rabatunde Ogala-san asked the witness, Mrs. Olaleye, when the victim spoke to her about the abuse, she expanded that it was November 27, 2022. She was asked if there was CCTV in the house. Her response was there was none except in the dining room. At that point, the defense counsel of Galassan's son asked that the court allow him to play a video recording in the court. The court granted the request and a 39 seconds video showing the witness beating the victim. Ogala asked the witness to identify all the persons in the video which she did. She also asked for, he also asked her who was beating the girl. She admitted that she was earlier she admitted that she was earlier disciplining her. She noted further in her response that the video was on the 26th or 27th November 2021. Two additional videos of 59 and 57 seconds respectively were also played depicting where the witness was beating the victim and appeared to be visibly angry. The second witness that was disqualified by the court was the family driver that the court just saw in the physical abuse video aiding and abating Mrs. Olaleye while meeting as the maltreatment to Miss Blessing the day before the allegations came out.